But while Congress does its work, people across the country are planning to put a very interesting form of pressure on their lawmakers tomorrow night to remind them who they represent and what they want. Joining us now is Ezra Levin. He's co-executive director of Indivisible, one of the groups involved in organizing tomorrow night's rallies. Ezra, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. So over the last couple of years, we have talked a few different times about yeah. strategy. Yes. And one of the things that's been so interesting to me about Indivisible is your perspective, along with your co-organizers at Indivisible, as former congressional staffers saying, listen, we know what moves members of Congress. Yeah. And here's specific ways to call your member of Congress. Here's reasons to go to your events. Here's the type of events that are going to move them. Right. How does a mass demonstration, how do marches and rallies of the types that are, type that are planned for tomorrow night, how do they work strategically? Yeah, so I say this as a former congressional staffer. Uh, Congress as a whole has an approval rating on par with toenail fungus and cockroaches. <laughs> and, and that was an old poll. It's probably lower now. <laughs> but, but here's the great thing about Congress. Every single member wakes up every morning thinking, how am I going to get reelected? And the answer to that question is you've got to convince your constituents that you're one of the good folks in Congress, that you're actually looking out for them. You're not part of that problem caucus in, in Congress. You're one of the ones who's actually representing constituents, which means members of Congress go home every single week trying to craft their local image and make clear that they are one of the good members of Congress. And that's what gives constituents power. That's what we've exercised over the last three years. Because if you get a handful of people together and show up at a congressional district office, show up at a town hall, show up in a public space and say, hey, member of Congress, I think you should be representing me. I think you should hold this president accountable. That influences how they're perceived by your neighbors, mm -hmm. by the community at large, and that can affect how your member of Congress actually behaves. And I've seen it with my own eyes being a congressional staffer. In terms of the way these events are going to go, part of the reason I ran through this sort of list of different types of events that are planned is that it does seem like in every different district and every town where these are happening, and there's like almost 600 of them planned now, um, it seems like it, they're all a little different, that everybody locally is planning planning their own type of event that they hope will have its own type of impact. Is that, that fair? That is exactly right. This is not a command and control operation. And a little news, it broke 600 events right before <laughs> I came on. So okay. the number is growing. If you are in a town and you go to indivisible.org or impeach.org, put in your zip code and you don't find one, you stick up your hand and say, hey, I've got a dozen people and I'll, I'll set up my own impeachment event. If you Google image search indivisible logo, you'll find the national indivisible logo. And that's all well and good, but you'll find literally hundreds of other indivisible logos goes from all over the country because this is fundamentally a movement that is led at the local level. And the reason why it has had the impact that it has had, the reason why it's still going three years on is because people got together to fight against the Trump agenda, but they stayed together because they built these communities of folks who are supporting each other and empowering each other to influence this state of national politics. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.